okay so that's that's uh, the providers page but like we said you might not want to look at that right away so let's do another page which is the calendar page so I'll delete all this stuff This is the calendar page, right? Is this calendar a good name for it? No, because I think there will also be a calendar because we are hoping that our users, our medical providers are going to so fall in love with our organized system that is being very beautifully laid out today, um, that they are going to start using our calendar that we provide them as their main source of organization. Right. So when you say calendar, I'm thinking, okay, here, you know, Gabriella is going to have a five o'clock appointment, a two o'clock appointment, uh, blah, blah, blah. What I'm talking about in looking for appointments booked is more of a financial admin aspect where if I click on Gabriella, I can see that she had five appointments in the past oh, week. Oh, her history. Two online, uh, three in per something like that. I think that will be the most important piece of information. Why? Because I have to do billing, and I hate doing billing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, why do you have to have billing? What does it mean? Because right now the way we are planning on setting this up is that the medical providers are paid directly. Okay. I then need to internally bill our medical providers for the percentage that we take. Wait, that's not how this is set up. This last time we set it up where you got paid. This layout should still work. It's going to be a back end thing of when they click pay online whose bank account that goes to. All right, well, anyway, let's continue with the, let's continue well, with You know the what, though, Peldi, for this end of it, either way, let's say, okay, set up the company and it comes in. I still need to access all of Gabriella's appointments so that I will, if, if I'm getting paid, I need to know what her payout is. If she's getting paid, I need to know what I need to invoice her for. So either way, at some point, I will need to see a summary if she's getting paid because there is an option to pay in cash. I forgot just to take that there, away. There is an option to pay in cash. Just to take that away last time. No, no, it's there. Oh yeah, or I will pay cash. There it is. Yeah. So I will, you know, either way that we go with the online payments, I will need to see it either way okay so uh, okay so what do you want to see here um, how many appointments were booked online like for an online consultation how many appointments were booked in person I mean you know even a breakdown would be great as well you know she had an appointment with Gina on Thursday at two o'clock in home payment online. She had an appointment with Susie in home. Payment was made in person. Uh, appointment on Wednesday, online consultation, paid online. Okay, so Tuesday, uh, um, 1 March 2016 with uh, client X. Kind uh, consultation in home paid in cash something like that. Yeah, and then for the people who have two different uh, categories, was it a midwife consultation, patient consultant consultation? Because they do have different pricing. And 
the amount too, or what? Uh, yeah, that would be good. Makes less chance of an error for me in doing billing either way. Okay, and this you just really want to see. You don't have to take any actions here. No, uh, I think all of the information would be there that I would need. Okay, and so so it seems like this is more important than the, the reviews. The reviews can be after. take up five screens so many appointments will have been booked well here we can do this uh, we can have a scroll by there oh fancy doesn't take up too much okay oh by the way I have a hard stop in ten minutes unfortunately okay today. okay uh, it's a start it's a start okay so this is still the uh, this is the appointments for um, a provider what I was thinking with the calendar is a list of all the appointments booked on the platform. Yeah, so no, I would. Have all the providers here. Yes, that would be, yeah, the sort of uh, mothership calendar. Right. So here you have a link. Something like 10 a.m. Gabriella. Something, right? And then eleven. Uh, Mike, something like that, uh, or even ten. It could be at the same time, right? Mm-hmm. So here you can see everything that's gonna happen in the next few days and, and what happened. And if you click on someone, you go to the the provider page. I, is, am I getting too uh, specific here where it's like, you know, it'd be great if online consultations could be in, in green and in-home consultations could be purple, I, you know. Sure, sure. Just a visual differentiator. Okay. Is this a place to put it? No, why not? Why not? Okay. Colors are pretty. Um, And then here you'd have the like uh, daily, uh, you know, this is the monthly view, but you could have a, uh, the classic uh, month, week, day, right? The classic uh, options here for the calendar. So you can see, like, you can see it, you can zoom in and out basically. Hmm. Would there be, uh, maybe I'm making things complicated, but like a summary, just you know, to keep track because keeping track of our data, sort of like you know, um, you know, uh, April, uh, ten in-home appointments, uh, six online. Boop. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, would you want it here or in the analytics part? Uh, probably analytics. You're right. Yeah, analytics would make more sense because that's where I'm going to collect all my funds. Right, that's where you get all the reports and everything. Okay. Oops. Um, all right, so uh, now would this be the first thing you want to look at when you log in? The calendar? Again, we don't have to answer yet. Let's yeah. let's let's build these and then we'll see what this is. Okay. It's a small decision. You can just reorder the tabs and that's it. 
Um, all right, so let's see. Manage it. Provided profiles, we kind of did. Look at the main calendar is this one. This one we haven't done, this we haven't done. Look at the feedback, yes. Mm -hmm. um, look at the reviews, but we haven't done the forums, emails. I don't know if that will be here, but we, we can look at that. And then analytics and that post. So that, that's gonna have to come next time. Yeah, but wow, we did a lot. So today, yeah, we did you log in and then you see some screen, maybe this screen, maybe the another one, who knows. Uh, there's a screen for provider uh, appointments, uh, history and uh, reviews. And there's a screen to edit provider info. And here we could probably flush it out some more. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll put this stuff faster. But it's something to show your developer until our next meeting. Yeah, no, no all of this is great okay. because he started building this week, Paldi. So, oh, wow, amazing. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy and wacky. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, well, uh, we'll talk uh, soon, okay? We'll do another, a little more. This is, yeah. uh, this is excellent because it's bringing out these uh, interesting questions as well. Yeah, no, this is all fabulous and stuff that I need to think through, but having, being able to think through it while visually have something in front of me is so helpful. I know, I know. It's hard to imagine just uh, things in, in a vacuum. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, that's why this is phenomenal. Right. This is really incredible. Um, can I ask you a, an off-camera question? Hold on, I made it stop this shit. <laughs> Uh, all right, we'll be back for another episode soon.